Hello everyone and welcome to the HazretTapaPathology.com case of the month series and in this month I'm going to show you a breast case uh, actually the tumor as you see in the <clears throat> in this view in the very low power field we have this uh, infiltrative pattern infiltrative epithelial cells with the desmoplastic background we have some islands of the cells, some uh, trabeculae, and now I'm going to move when we uh, go to the high power. Uh, the tumor looks monotonous and silent. Uh, there's there are no there are no pleomorphism and we can grade this tumor as a grade one tumor and also it has some nuclear features like salt and pepper chromatin and there, there are no nucleoli and we, we <clears throat> when we do uh, the synaptophysis and chromogranin uh, the cells stains diffusely and we call this an, as a neuroendocrine tumor uh, but Today's topic is not the uh, the diagnosis or the type of this tumor. Uh, uh, the tumor is it, it looks uh, well differentiated, and in the sentinel lymph node there is there is there were no uh, metastases, and this tumor is uh, relatively well differentiated. It, is, it it looks well differentiated, and it is is it is small relative to small tumor and when when I wander around and uh, check the uh, surrounding I encountered this here uh, we have we have a large vessel out artery here and we have this uh, small islands or if uh, they look like infiltrating through the lymphatic soul vessels and but this was not compatible with the uh, the behavior of the main tumor, and this area was quite far from the main tumor, as you see here. And uh, then I realized that the, these tumor cells are accompanied by this myofibroblastic proliferation that is uh, that that looks different than the desmoplasia of the tumor itself it, it it's more uh, young younger myofibroblasts here here and then i i wandered around more and see this area again this is a tumor and this area is the, it looks more myofibroblastic, and the young young uh, myofibroblasts here, and we have we have again these tumor cells. They seem to be sucked in this way, as you see here. Like it starts from here, and the tumor cells they look to be punched and sucked through this area, and it, at the end. Uh, again, we can see these small uh, islands of tumor. Uh, they, they, they look like they, as if they are within the lymphatic again here. And finally, at this stage, I found out these tumor cells are also within the fat necrosis here. And this is a very well known phenomenon. This is a needle tract. So this phenomenon is a well-known uh, phenomenon in the breast. It's called needle tract seeding. And uh, it's important because uh, you may uh, falsely call this as a lymphovascular invasion, or you may increase the size of the tumor, and uh, that may lead to uh, uh, dismal consequences 
And it may also be seen in the uh, benign lesions, such as uh, papillomas. Uh, even after needle biopsies from papillomas, uh, even lymph node um, seeding is seen. So uh, pathologists must be careful uh, and they, they must collect information accompanying uh, morphological uh, points uh, that that is uh, you, you may you may find the fat necrosis as seen here or early uh, young myofibroblastic proliferation and the other thing is actually the lymphovascular invasion is not expected in this type of tumor. So these are uh, important clues in order to, to get uh, to the correct diagnosis and leads to the correct management of the patients. Thank you very much.